From Southern California, the entertainment capital of the world, it's California Air Tech Video. downtown live what are you doing tonight i'm supposed to go have a drink with my photographers there's no there is no telling where we'll end up you're a model yeah now would you be the before model or the after model come on now inquiring minds need to know star 94 <laughs> of music an hour on 94.1 star 94 star 94 playing 50 minutes of music an hour that is hot from paula cole it's her latest me me i'm dt with a double b downtown billy brown doing downtown live but first i gotta let you know uh bravo's in orlando reporting to disney world we're, we're going, going to disney we're going to disney hold up wait a minute these guys aren't down there for fun and games playing around with mickey mouse and minnie they're down there doing some real hard work getting ready for spring ball yeah right no it's true i'm telling you okay all right look i'm thinking they're down there getting ready for the spring ball season right i'm thinking we need to do a little work we need to do a little exercise so i got my buddy arnold arnold schwarzenegger of course and i thought we'd go ahead and work out tonight all right let's give it a try ready now yeah let's do this man down, up, no. down, up, no. down, up, no. and squeeze your buttocks. No, man, don't touch my butt. Down, up, no. very good, oh, and yeah. on to the next exercise. No, no, man, we got to take a break. The next on a program no, is a no, wonderful man. stretching exercise we that gotta I take call a break. reaching for the sky. No, no, no. No, I'm not reaching for nothing, man. You don't understand. I'm tired. I'm sore. I'm out of breath. My butt hurts. If you think downtown Billy Brown is funny, listen to Steve and Vicky in the morning. Hey! They're funny. Oh, wait a minute. They're comedy. Excuse me? Thanks for listening to Star 94. What the hell was that? Okay, who's calling me at this hour? Good morning, Susan. Time to wake up. Open weeknights till 8, Saturday and Sunday till 5. WSTR, Smyrna, Atlanta, a division of Jefferson Pilot Communications. You know what's coming this week, don't you? Of course I do. I'll bet you don't. Okay, it's a bet. Sprite's got the funk. Downtown Billy Brown. I think he wants to communicate. Star 94. Hey, can I get a shout out? Who are you shouting to? Rebecca Martin. What's your name? Mitch. What's up with this Rebecca girl? She's my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. How long you known her? Over a year. How long you been dating her? Almost a year. What are you getting her for Valentine's Day? A few roses. What? A few roses. A few roses? Take her out to eat. Where are you going to take her? Waffle House? Red Lobster. Yeah. You know, coming up this Thursday, Kroger's going to be having lobster on sale, three ninety nine a pound. That's cool. Yeah, you could probably just go out there and get two lobsters for under eight bucks. Get them steamed while you're at Kroger. Take them home and act like you cooked them for. Her. That's pretty cool. Yeah, save yourself a little bit of money. Yeah. Make it look like you're you know, you the man. Yep. All right. All right. You're not going to do that, are you? I'll try. Yeah. You going to do it? Yeah. All right, man. All right. Bye. Bye. Hey, can I get a shout out? Who are you shouting to? Rebecca Martin. Star 94, it's downtown live. What are you doing? Just drinking a cold beer and eating some chips and hot sauce. And what kind of beer would that be, my friend? Mmm, middle light. Less filling. Mmm, and tastes great. Less filling. Tastes great. I said less filling. Don't argue with me. It's Dave Matthews Band. You got your ball, you got your chain tied to me, tight, tight. Come on, everybody. Let's do this together. Right, that's a little too high for me. But... You're talking to 
me. Start 94, playing 50 minutes of music an hour in downtown Philly Brown with Downtown Live. What are you doing? You cutting hair tonight? Yeah, back to back. Are you a barber or a stylist? Stylist. Well, if you're just cutting hair, you're a barber. Well, sometimes we do blow dries and, you know. Is that extra? Is that like a dollar extra? It's to four. Four dollars extra to have an electronic device blow dry my hair. Right. I mean, it's going be free for you, of course, because, yeah. Radio no, for me, I just roll the damn window down in the car and stick my head out, Good and idea. I save the four bucks and get me a Happy Meal. Yeah, but see, you might get it cold that way. It's getting cold outside, you know? Then I get a few days off work, I'm also smoking a candle. <laughs> Good point. Downtown Billy Brown. Hey. Star 94. It's the Mummer's Dance. Star 94. <laughs> Yes, you have any questions, not a problem. 404-741-9400. Hi, Star 94. Welcome to Downtown Live. Yeah, can I get a shout-out? Who are you shouting to? Rebecca Martin. What's your name? Mitch. What's up with this Rebecca girl? She's my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. How long you known her? Over a year. What are you getting her for Valentine's Day? A few roses. A few roses? Take her out to eat. Where are you going to take her? Red Lobster. You know, coming up this Thursday, Kroger's going to be having lobster on sale, three ninety nine a pound. That's Cool. Yeah, you could probably just go out there and get two lobsters for under eight bucks, get them steamed while you're at Kroger, take them home and act like you cooked them for her. Cool. Yeah, make it look like you the man. Yep. You're not going to do that, are you? I'll try. Good luck, buddy. All right. Downtown Billy Brown. Hey. Star 94. I've seen the world be too many places. And I just know we'll have a good time. Yeah. The station on the move. Star 94. If you could only see the way she loves me. Star 94 music. Every day, put on a good attitude and crank us up. 94.1. Star 94. The official spokescandies of the new millennium. From ONDCP in partnership for a drug-free metro Atlanta. Forecast rain likely after midnight tonight. Could see some on your way to work tomorrow morning with Steve and Vicky. 44 for the low. Few thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon with a high 55. Right now, 52 downtown at the station playing a better variety of music. Downtown Live continues. High Star 94. Are you thinking about going hunting tonight? Hunt. What kind of hunt? Men's hunting. Thought it crossed my mind. Now, would you be looking for tall men's or short men's? Tall. With big hands and big feet. No. <laughs> Because you know what they say about men's with big feet. Yeah. Big sneakers. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. Hey, Sister Hazel. Yeah, yeah. Finally, I figured out but it took a long, long time. Playing 50 minutes of music an hour and giving you a chance to jump on the radio live. Get a shout out in, something off your chest. You got any questions? 404 741 9400. Hi, Star 94. It's downtown live. What's up? My microwave doesn't seem to be cooking the entree all the way through. Well, you got one of those rotating dishes in there? Yeah. Does it spin clockwise or counterclockwise? I believe it spins counterclockwise. Oh, well, there's your problem. You can't cook food counterclockwise. You sure do know a lot about microwaves. Well, they've been in my family for generations. What? Never. Well, be nice now. It's Downtown Live. Brand new Billy Myers just after this from The Verb. This is Star 94. with 50 minutes of music an hour. It's Downtown Live. What's up? Hey, can I make a request? What do you want to hear? Kiss the rain. Can you believe this? I'm playing it right now. This is incredible. With these powers, I could be... A superhero! I could fight crime, protect the innocent, work for world peace! Well, hello. It's believed he talked 
talks in his sleep. Mm -hmm. In fact, he's had his eyes closed for the last half hour. Downtown Billy Brown on Star 94. Oh, boy, I can't even think straight right now. Uh, let me get back to you when I wake up, okay? Okay. She said it's cold outside and she hands me my raincoat. playing 50 minutes of music an hour in downtown Billy Brown. It's now time for... And now, downtown Billy Brown's... Name That Billboard! Up for grabs, two tickets for the Star 94 sneak peek of Sphere, starring Dustin Hoffman, Sharon Stone, and Samuel L. Jackson. This Wednesday night, 7.30, Phipps Plaza Theater. Here's how it works. You listen carefully. I'm going to read you the billboard, and it goes a little like this. Hello, road trip. Or maybe you read it as you ride down the road. Hello, road trip. If you can tell me who owns that billboard, be caller 14 404 741 9400, and I'll hook you up with two tickets for the Star 94 sneak peek of Sphere. Sweet dreams of rhythm and dancing. Sweet dreams of passion through the night. All right, what do you want to do? Go ahead. Okay. Hello? Hello. Yeah, I want to make a dedication, please. Who to? Uh, to Jeff. From? From Matoko and Southeast Journal. Yeah, that's our favorite. Anything you want to say? Yeah, we want to say happy birthday. Another birthday tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. happy birthday. Can we play a song? Which one? Wanna Be by Spi the Spice Girls. Can't do that one. Pardon? Can't guarantee any song, so. Okay, well, don't guarantee a song, but definitely uh, wish them a happy birthday, okay? Okay. All right, when is it going to be on? How about we play you Marcy Playground and Sex and Candy? Okay, that's good. All right. When is it going to be on? In a couple, about 20 minutes. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye. Star 94, you're number four. Try again, okay? Star 94, low. Yes, um, I have to tell it. Um, huh? The billboard. Hang on. Nick, are you there? Yes. All right. First, you got to be caller 14, and you are caller 14. Yes. Now, more excitement. Yes. What's your name? Jennifer. Jennifer, it's now time to play. Hold on one second. Let me change songs. Okay. Excitement. Are you there? Yes. Yeah. All right. Let me give it to you one more time. Billboard reads, hello, road trip. If you can tell me who owns that billboard, I'll send you to the Star 94 sneak peek of Sphere this Wednesday night. Is it public? No, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. Okay, thank you. Hey, Star 94. Can you play the song Sister from the Nixon for me? Okay. When will you get it on? I don't know. As soon as I can. All right, thank you. Bye. Star 94, hello. Um, is this, is the billboard BMW? Hang on one second, okay? Is, is Hang this... on, hold on. Are you there? Uh -huh. Star 94, we're past caller number 14, but we need a correct answer and name that billboard. What's your name? Ryan. Ryan, can you name that billboard? I'll give it to you one more time. It reads, Hello Road Trip. BMW. Yes, you're a winner. Thank you. You're going to see the Star 94 sneak peek of Sphere with Samuel L. Jackson, Dustin Hoffman, and Sharon Stone this Wednesday night at Phipps Plaza Theaters, all courtesy of Warner Brothers and your friendly neighborhood Star 94. How will I get there? Well, excuse me? Maybe you'll have to have one of your parents take you or call a cab. Okay. <laughs> we'll put your name on the guest list. You can go for free with somebody you know, all courtesy of Warner Brothers and Star 94, okay? What is it? Hang on. I'll be right back. Star 94 playing 50 minutes of music an hour. It's the latest one from Third Eye Blind. How's it going to be? I'm downtown Billy Brown, and you are caller 14. What's your name? Jennifer. Jennifer, it's now time to play Name, name that, that Billboard. Let me give it to you one more time. Billboard reads, Hello, Road Trip. If you can tell me who owns that billboard, I'll send you to the Star 94 sneak peek of Sphere this Wednesday night. Is it public? No, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. Okay, thank you. Star 94, we're past caller number 14. But we need a correct answer and name that billboard. What's your name? Ryan. 
Ryan, can you name that billboard? I'll give it to you one more time. It reads, Hello, Road Trip. BMW. Yes, you're a winner. Thank right. you. You're going to see the Star 94 sneak peek of Sphere with Samuel L. Jackson, Dustin Hoffman, and Sharon Stone this Wednesday night at Phipps Plaza Theaters, all courtesy of Warner Brothers and your friendly neighborhood Star 94. Cool. You better believe it. Another chance to win is coming up also. The latest from the Wallflowers. And Celine Dion is next on Star 94. Hot Wheels. I get no time. Hey, it's Tracy St. George, and you might get knocked down, but you got to get up and skate again. Savings versus Downing Zero with AT&T. WSTR, Smyrna, Atlanta, a division of Jefferson Pilot Communications. This is casting for Phoenix Brewing Company Radio. Anytime, take one. It looks pretty dark. It looks pretty good. Okay, great. All right, sweet. So, Fifth Plaza, and he needs to be there by 7, 7 o'clock? Yeah. Okay. Wednesday night. Okay. And it's his name plus one, so you can go with him. Okay. Okay. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Who you shouting to? Um, Kristen, Aaron, and his mother, Marissa. <laughs> Downtown Billy Brown. To infinity and beyond. Star 94. Star 94 playing 50 minutes of music. Now I say Steve. Buddy. We're out of Mountain Dew. Call Dan. That would be the one. I don't think it concerns Dan. When he got here in April, he said if you ever had a problem, to call him. Right again, Steve. I'll make the call. And now, Billy makes the bounce-off call to the program director. You know, your show's just as bad as baseball with all the commercialization. I gotta hand it to the salespeople here at Star 94. They could sell a tanning bed to Frosty the Snowman. Hello? Dan Bowen. Yeah? I don't mean to bother you at home, but we're out of do. Wouldn't happen to have any stashed at the house, would you? Uh, yeah. Let me run down and bring you some. Thanks. That's two-liter bottles chilled, right? No problem. On tonight in somebody's bed, she gone and died her head. U92 in White Plains, the Cleveland Wheelers show, and uh, still above uh, in Cleveland here, three sheets in the wind on Toka Tuesday. Come on, I dare you. Have to take my toga off, just one more cup of coffee. <laughs> I will, I will. I guarantee it. It's about 10 minutes for 8 o'clock this morning. People ask me, why this is Toka Tuesday? Why do we do this on Toka Tuesday? This is a very, very special day of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, Delta House Fraternity Brothers and Sorority Sisters, this is Toka Tuesday, Oldies Radio U92, the day after Monday, an otherwise useless, not even a halfway day to Friday, a day of final riddance to the weekend hangover, a day so proclaimed by we, the Rise Guys Royal Court of Radio Mornings, to be a day of great celebration that Monday has passed, and there is the rest of your life ahead of you. Toga Tuesday, a day to be celebrated in the half-naked spirit of frat parties yeah. gone by, but not forgotten, where all shall raise voices in unison to the tribal beat of those days from the 60s, now synonymous with the ultimate heat and ritual. Yeah. It is Toga Tuesday, where all shall don sheets of white as toga symbolic of the freedom that comes with just being free. Shall we dance? Old is radio, U92. Question mark in the Mysterious. Yeah. Uh, 753 of the Cleveland Wheeler Show. We're going here on a Tuesday morning. Patchy fog uh, burning off, becoming mostly sunny today and warm with a high about uh, 71 degrees. going to be a beautiful day today. That's the perfect temperature for me, 71. Flu, flu bug and everybody over there in the in Asia, uh, particularly over there in Nagano, is causing a lot of problems as well as snow. You ever heard anybody complain of snow in downhill events? Mm. First time I've ever... <laughs> it's, like, it, it's like the lightning complaining about ice. <laughs> Yeah, but they do. You can. <laughs> they do. That's what I mean, you know. It's ridiculous, I think. Shouldn't you want to let us know associated with uh, skiing? Isn't that well, a wonderful thing? But the problem is that they can't see the course now, and also the snow that's falling, and the, the preparation they do on the course is turning it all to ice, uh -huh. and they're not actually snow skiing See, anymore. if the networks weren't so cheap, they would have arranged this with uh, with Mother Nature. Would yeah. have paid her off and paid said, you know what you're yeah. supposed to do here, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> okay. Now well, we got the downhill donut rolling here this morning of this show. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're in plenty of big shape. It's 7.54, and uh, America Online is going up on their prices, $21.95 if you want to get online for the regular 
regular unlimited service per month. But uh, here's something hidden. Here's something hidden in the fine print. And recently, and I haven't seen anything in the paper about this, but... Uh, Uh-oh, he's found something else, Bob. Bob. I'm not telling you, man. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a conspiracy man. I truly believe there's always something in the background. Just when everything is cozy, they're going to jab you when they can. So what have you found? The telephone companies, all of them, I, I believe, are in conspiracy with each other to uh, to make a per-minute fee charge. And it's going to have to be, of course, for the people that are your, who are your carriers, mm -hmm. uh, your Internet services, mm -hmm. so that every time you pick up the phone, you don't have that free, what they call the free PPP number that dials straight through. You are actually paying a per-minute charge to be on. Mm -hmm. the internet it's coming this has been for people to get addicted to the internet of course and now when everybody's like i can't do without it uh -huh. there see, goes the see, charge by 2000 i bet you're going to see it you're going to see it real strong too and it's going to be very expensive and for those of you who checked into the satellite dish as an alternative it's a really cool thing because you get that dual pc satellite dish which connects you to ussb or direct tv or whatever and on the other side of the uh of the receiver comes a, a cable which plugs into the back of your computer and of course you receive internet at about 400 kbs off satellite which is the fastest speed you can you can do it at you know you can travel for well, internet i think that's what's going to keep the prices down and maybe keep the per minute charges away is the fact that there's so much competition out there that if everybody else goes to a per minute rate then the one company that has a flat fee for unlimited usage they'll get all the all the clients yeah it could be could be, but... I miss the days of Pony <laughs> Express. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing you have to remember about the satellite dish is you can only receive off the satellite. You cannot transmit on the Internet over the satellite, so you also have to use the telephone company or a cable company to be able to do that. Mm. So they still are regulated, of course, some of them by the Public Service Commission in the various states and by the FCC. So uh, those rates can be juggled in their favor. Mm -hmm. You're still paying, you're paying a lot of money for the, for the use of that satellite thing, too. They charge you a monthly fee for the satellite uh, connection for the use of the satellite, and then they charge you whatever you're charged to transmit over your carrier, whether it's telephone lines, uh, most of it is, now, our cable company charges, mm -hmm. they carry it over there. And there's no cap on that. Fiber optics. Well, you know how it is. You know, mm -hmm. when they go for, for rate hikes, uh, yeah, no, virtually no. 756, it's Oldies Radio, U92. Beep, 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 beep. Problem on the interstate on the Tampa side this morning. Traffic brought to you as a service of ABC's World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Just getting word of an accident, maybe an overturned vehicle southbound I-75. I'm Chuck Whitaker with Quick Traffic on Oldies Radio, U92. Good morning. Weather-wise, patchy fog around, then sunshine. I'm Wynn Allen with a 92-second news update on Oldies Radio, U92. This report of service of cash and carry. Right now, 44 degrees in Val Rico. It's 51 in Dunedin and along the Gulf beaches. I'm Wynn Allen, and you're up to date on 92.5 FM, Oldies Radio, U92. Tampa Bay's only 60s superstation, 92.5 FM, Oldies Radio. U92. Challenge. Come on, I'll be your symbol. <coughs> they came in. We were videotaping that day. They came in with the chair, and they hit a guy over the back with the chair, and it was great. Real chair? Real chair. Folding chair, you know, but folding. Yeah, this is all going to be fake here. <laughs> <laughs> no real chairs. How about real chairs? I'm sure he's really going to get really injured and be able to um, claim workman's comp. <laughs> <laughs> Did you catch that? Christmas time is here. Baldi's Radio, you're 92, and uh, it's Hogan Tuesday, everybody. It's nine minutes past eight o'clock in the morning. That thing you do, you know, it's snappy. I know what it is, man. Hey, uh, did you see the thing that the Lawton Charles did when he was in town the other day? No, about, I missed it. What did about, he do? <laughs> about the money we're getting for the, you know, from the tobacco companies. Oh, yeah. 
And uh, then he heard that there was a billboard still up. Of course, uh, tomorrow's the deadline. No more smoking billboards and stuff like that. Uh -huh. so, Did he tear it down so They're going to they're gonna head right up there in a limousine and make a big media to-do about it. The TV stations beat him to it. They were waiting on him down there with the TV cameras and everything. And uh, got there, and the billboard was already taken down. <laughs> the tobacco guys got the jump on him. Heard they were on the way. <laughs> the board, huh? Smoking. <laughs> yeah, we got special guests in the studio in a couple of seconds. You're going to like this guy here. Of course, big fan sitting here. I wonder why I came in this morning and she looks like the the madam of the mustang ranch <laughs> and, uh, Dad, i want to be their manager uh and uh, she said well you know i mean hawk is coming in this morning what a rush yeah he just called you are a big wrestling fan genuinely aren't genuinely you? i am yeah he um just woke my son up yeah he called out and he said hey kid you better make the bus or you're dead meat <laughs> gotta, gotta do all these gratuitous radio things for the for the guys uh, inside before he gets in the microphone we put him through a, a bunch of hoops before that <laughs> that's gonna check on traffic this morning beep, 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 beep. <laughs> We continue with our major problems on the interstate's Tampa side of the bay this morning. Traffic brought to you as a service of Inside Edition. New accidents coming in. I'm Chuck Whitaker with Quick Traffic on Oldies Radio, U92. About 11 minutes past 8 o'clock. Uh, are we going to Iraq, you think? I think. That troops uh, ordered to Kuwait. Actually, the order was troops ordered to wait. <laughs> See, we, we can get into a serious situation if they don't follow the correct order to so listen properly, okay? You know, I think the smart thing to do would be to send Hawk to Iraq. No kidding. I mean, yeah. somebody that's got experience and put them down! Yeah! <laughs> you can listen right. a couple of seconds with how your sports pal here at Oldies Radio U92. How's little Maria doing over there at the uh, She's Ultron doing Hospital? great. You know what? It took four hours to uh, perform the surgery to find the actual leak in the lining of the brain. Yeah. Twelve stitches later, she is doing fabulous, but they're going to keep her here for a few days to make sure this time. You know, I'm thinking we need the same surgery. I need a, lo I need a lobotomy. <laughs> no, I think there's a couple of leaks in our brains, too. Yeah. And it's good to see she's doing okay. Wow, what a strange turn of events after she came here under those circumstances and then was going back in the airplane and hit her head because of some turbulence or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, This is why the... you fasten your seatbelts. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Was she fastened, was she fastened in? She had to be fastened in. I don't know. No, I don't know. Maybe the uh, pilot put the uh, took the light off. Yeah. yeah. I never can tell what happened there, but she's... It, it's, uh, what a uh, what a very great thing those people at the Ultraman's Hospital are doing. Uh, I think she her. should stay. See? Yeah. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Huh? Yeah. She could call this home. 12 minutes past 8 o'clock. It's Oldies Radio, U92. I'm an optician at VisionWorks, and three times a day I get asked by customers, what's this low price guarantee you guys have? Cleveland, this is Hawk. Hey, hey, how are you doing? Bob, Bob, Bob on the buttons, brother. Nice to meet you, Hawk. Yeah, how are you? Small room. Well, That's all right. That's all right. See these guys shooting here today. Sit, never, never sit. Uh, stand where you can sit. He's just down right? here. He's dead. Oh, it's pretty good. Good. It's right at Eckerd. You're listening to Cleveland Wheeler on 92.5 FM. Oldies Radio, U92. Number 41, Haggling, the pager that speaks for itself. Oldies Radio, U92. Time to get up, it's time to hurry, 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 get up. The six o'clock alarm would never occasion she's showing off today she is uh, it's, uh, we're talking about Stella here it's, well it, it's quite an occasion for her because one of her favorite people in the whole universe is here with us today and uh, I mean this this guy's the most popular the guy in a tag team ever in wrestling ladies and gentlemen Road Warrior Hawk is with us today well, I thank you thank you but Stella you know that and, and of course uh, if you have any interest uh, through your son or what I do you need psychological evaluation <laughs> Cleveland, you've got a voice that's known around the nation. 
and I have, I have a breath that's around the nation. <laughs> Bob, Bob on the buttons. <laughs> pal, your sports pal. I mean, you know, this is a bunch of wrestling wannabes this is a, in this room, this I is, think. This is, <laughs> this is a team. Now, I got I to gotta start by asking you something probably pretty unflattering, but you can take it because you're a big guy and you take the blows all the time. And I'm between you two. What the heck happened? <laughs> what the heck happened the other night? Last well, night. That, uh -huh. Yeah, last night. Yeah. Well, that big, uh, that running amok, uh, senseless Texan. Mm -hmm. That big tall guy. You got a detail job, is what you got, isn't it? <laughs> well, uh, they put they buffed my knees on, on the stairs, yeah, and then they put the figure four on me, and, and you know I think I would have got to the rope before that big. Was there some kind of Monica Jackson. Lewinsky distraction going on here? What, what was happening? I didn't see there? anybody look like Monica Lewinsky in there. I didn't see anybody that big. <laughs> and by the way, Rez. wouldn't you love to just take her on, huh? Uh, I, I think you should get... Uh, only if she shaves. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. I'll bet she has a hairy back. <laughs> I think. I just want to know what you're going to take on Fran Drescher and uh, Brooke Shields. Well, no, you know, I'll tell you what, I got a hunk of burning love at home. Yeah. And, and Brooke Shields, she can take a flying, you know what, on a rolling donut, you know, as far uh, as that's just, good. I mean, she's, I'm sure she's a nice lady. I'm sure she's a nice lady and all, but I got the hunk of burning love. Dale, baby, I love you. You know I do, honey. That's man love. There you that's go. That's man love. What are you going to do, by the way? What's your, what's your secret for, for, for Valentine's Day? For, with her? Yeah. Well, we're wrestling matches, of course. <laughs> I mean, what other way to spend your, uh, I mean, you know, lover? Valentine's Day massacre. Uh, get over here, Al. He promised, he promised he was going to take her out for the night on Valentine's night. She's oh, honey, I love that. So now they're going to wrestle in Tampa at the Sun. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened to me. My husband said, where do you want to go? You want to go to a nice romantic dinner? You want to do something? Well, I said, wrestle. I'm going wrestling. <laughs> well, you wouldn't believe some of the biggest days in this business. Christmas Day, New Year's, New Year's Day, Thanksgiving Day for years. And I you know, for years, I never had any of those holidays at home. Get the violin out. I never had any of those holidays at home. And uh, and uh, I cry a lot when I'm alone. But the family, the, the family, <laughs> do they travel with you? They get the opportunity to travel with I, you? I, I try to bring my wife to the more pleasant places. I don't bring her to places like Hammond, Indiana, or, oh, or yeah. you know, Gary, Gary. You know, or just, you know, any place around that area. I mean, out uh, Chicago's Why is that because it's dirty or because it's Michael well, Jackson's Well, you know, there's hometown, a lot of industrial man. pollutants in the air. Uh -huh. Free radicals. They age. <laughs> yeah. you know. I just wonder if it's because it was Michael Jackson's hometown or something. <laughs> I have no idea. Hey, you live in the Chicago area, you see. Well, I, I grew up in the Chicago area when I left there when I was 14, and I moved to Minnesota. Yeah? Where are you yeah, from? I, that wasn't by choice. Either. What part of Chicago? South side of Chicago, actually. Yeah. Well, I went to went to school in uh, Oak, Oak Park, uh -huh. and... Uh, but originally, as a child, was growing up, grew up on the south side until I was about four, and my family moved out. My father was in a computer business. Animal's father was in a computer business. We grew up together in the same block. Then his wow. family, my dad worked for Univac. He moved to Minneapolis. His dad worked for uh, Honeywell. He moved to Minneapolis, and so we carried on. Yes. So you guys have known each other since you were 14? Uh, actually, since we were about eight. Wow. wow. That's pretty amazing. It's a marriage. Yeah. <laughs> and, and how old it's you? not like that. Don't get me wrong. How old are you now? <laughs> No, <laughs> That's very cruel. We don't want to talk about hey, it. I had a birthday, though. Oh, I was going to say, I was gonna say we got to write this down. What's your birthday? Because we got to get this in. Huh? The date? You have to give us the year. Just give, give 19, us the year. Oh, man. Just give us the I mean, just give us the date. But I look much younger, don't I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, 1958. 1958. Yeah, you just had it in January or something, yeah? Yeah, but what's the day? Well, well, first month, 26th day, January okay. 26th. Does that make you an Aquarius? Yes. Okay. okay. All right. That's a good thing. Now, being from Minnesota, you're not going to start calling yourself the artist formerly known as Hawk, are you? <laughs> no, and, you know, I, I only time I ever saw that guy, we, they had a Super Bowl 92 there, and he had a party at his house, and uh, I had no invitation, but I went anyways. <laughs> nobody Who's bothered me, you? and it was so weird because there was a lot of hip people, Sinbad and all the people, and, you know, Evander Holyfield was there, and then I saw Bax sitting away is everybody had their nose because he was playing on, on his piano deal right in front of everybody who was just inches away from him. He's he's like the size of a miniature Doberman Pinscher. I mean, the guy is so small. I can't even... And when he isn't playing, he does shake like one of those little dogs do for their nerves. Again. That's why they always got yellow poop. But anyways... Uh, Can you say poop on the radio? Well, we just did. It's not a bad radio yeah, word. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. a, couple of, a couple of his buddies uh, live close in proximity to you, don't they? Yeah, right. down the street. Yeah, good. Uh, Oh, what's their address? The, the well, Godwin. We, we, we like each other sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> He's a, they're, uh, we're having a country whipping match with them here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When's that? that? 
That's a Valentine's Day massacre. Yes. Bring your Down own here at the USF at the Dome, Sun Dome, and, uh, you know, we have leather straps, you know, similar to the kind you see back when Clint Eastwood was getting a shave in a Western and they're sharpening up that, you know, uh -huh. that what thing are you that do I would them? never put near my face. <laughs> <laughs> I would never put anything like I know I could think of a few people I would like to put it near their face, but we won't get into that. That could take a while. <laughs> so you, and for you people with, uh, you know, a new wrestling education here this morning, as we have uh, Road Warrior Hawk on the, on the radio, who are these guys? the Godwins. They're large, tattooed, long-haired, somewhat deliverance-type people. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and Phineas Godwin's got this big tattoo that says redneck on, on his arm. And yes, they live down does. the street That's from you? That's my neighbor! <laughs> 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 They're pig farmers! Why do you think we think she looks out of, out of sorts here today with this dress on? Eh? Yeah, welcome to Stella's Hood. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We'll be back with the Road Warrior Hawk in a couple seconds. Hey, by the way, you want to help uh, uh, how you sports around with the sports sports cast here in about five, six minutes? I'd be more than, more than happy to. I appreciate that. Stick around here. It's 830. It's Oldies Radio, U92. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, while you're at the marketplace, uh, play the more for your money game. 13 ways to win and a million dollars in prizes. No purchase necessary. Play today at any Winn-Dixie or Winn-Dixie Marketplace store. Look for a problem around the airport now this morning in Tampa. Traffic brought to you as the service of Office Depot. Multi-car accident. Some injuries involved at West Shore at Spruce. I'm Chuck Whitaker with Quick Traffic on Oldies Radio, U92. Good morning. Weather-wise, it is going to be a little bit warmer today. I'm Wynn Allen with a 92-second news update on Oldies Radio, U92. Right now, 44 degrees in Carrollwood, 51 in Safety Harbor and along the Gulf beaches. I'm Wynn Allen, and you're up to date on 92.5 FM, Oldies Radio, U92. Now, more good times and great 60s oldies with the one and only Cleveland Wheeler, Stella Riches, and Bob Bob on the Button. Yes. Yes. Two never forgets. 1966. I'm sitting in the railway station, got a ticket for my destination. playing all this music this morning to make him feel older by the minute. Road Warrior Hawk, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, yeah! at Oldies Radio, U92. <laughs> That'll be enough of that. <laughs> it wasn't until 40 until you said, boy, those bring back memories. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing about live radio, you know, you just never know what's going to hit you. <laughs> He's smiling, but his ears are steaming, watch it. <laughs> and for those of you who can't see us on radio, I'm way across the room from him. <laughs> With Where Stella in between you. He's got me in the middle. <laughs> yeah, it's great for you to drop in this morning here. Uh, morning hours aren't usually your hours, I bet, because you travel a lot and all that kind of well, stuff. Well, they are when I travel, but I'm home. I, I try not to get up that early. Yeah. You know? He was in Evansville, Indiana last night. Oh, wonderful. I'm sorry. <laughs> Raw's war, and then he got, got that late night. It's the hub, you know, it's one of the hubs, and he got out of there to get here in time. Now, how much, how much of a city do you actually get to see when you're, when you're traveling around? You never get to see it. I see the building. Yeah. Yeah, and getting off That's the plane, it. into the airport, <laughs> into the camera. Oh, yeah, I just spend, I know, you can, I can tell you what it, all the showers are like across all the fine uh, uh, wrestling, uh, you know, all the arenas, all the fine place for all the basketball players. I can tell you where they sit. So you, you know, you're probably going when, to... When I go to Chicago and I wrestle St. Bill's Rodman, I always, if I ever have to sit, sit near his area, I was, I have a little 409 with me. And I, just, <laughs> I was going to say, uh, you're probably the bacterial. leading consumer in America of antibacterial soap, aren't you? <laughs> well, I'm telling you, that's, a, that's funny you should say so. My, my mother-in-law, who I love her, did death you know she does her name is marcia and she's a little bit she like you know like to keep things clean like handy wipes at all times and i love her to death but she's right because you know how many germs are in a person's hand like sure hey we'll get you the uh dial antibacterial uh, thing you know that you can be the spokesman for that i just don't shake anybody's hands mm -hmm. especially when you pick your nose as much as we do oh you, know what I mean? you too <laughs> well, you and that unsightly jock yeah know? but he keeps his hand the uh, handkerchief on his head look at that <laughs> i did i did an interview not too long ago on uh, on the on and they were on and talked about boogers. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 I, and I felt that one of the wrestlers he I was wrestling did. was like a booger between my fingers, and I was going to roll them around and just <laughs> flick them. <laughs> nobody will admit that. Nobody will admit that. Everybody it's, listening out there does that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
There's the thing about it. That's why they invented gunk and all that kind of stuff. Nuns do that. And Nuns, priests. Oh and I, I mean, I, and they're I the believe worst. Was, well, they, of course, yeah. <laughs> they got to they have it. <laughs> you guys are going to be on the cover of uh, WWF's Raw magazine, the March issue, uh, Legion of Doom on the cover. We're going to get all kinds of neat pictures and everything. We're looking forward to that. Yeah, and we got a big show coming up here on the Sun Dome, you know. we got Stone Cold Steve Austin, who uh, without a doubt to me is, uh, is the hottest wrestler in the business right now. People like him. He says what he's on his mind. There's no doubt about I that. I like his t-shirts. Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> he's, a, he's a tough dude, you know. And we've got to go, uh, him. He'll be with uh, Cactus Jack and Chainsaw Charlie, which is Terry Funk. I don't know if you know anything <gasps> about wrestling, but Terry Funk. Yeah. yeah. He's older than dirt. Terry Funk talks like this, and I... I, I, for crying out loud, I bet, I bet it, at some point in time that he has stump break uh, some large hooked animal. That's a great impression, man. Well, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> and if you don't believe that, you can ask my brother, Dory. He'll tell you the same. Uh, we're going to talk about your future career in a couple of seconds, too. This is very interesting what this guy has in mind. Well, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a future career or not, but it's supplemental to the to the great career he's got going right now. Yeah. And uh, how are your sports pals coming up with sports in a couple seconds. Let's get a look at traffic right now. Beep, 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 beep. Brought to you by your Valentine's headquarters, Golden Diamond Source. And thank you very much, Cleveland. The accident right around Tampa International Airport has cleared off to the roadway, cleared off the roadway now at West Shore and Spruce. So all the lanes are open and some better news there as you're moving around the entrances. I'm Chuck Whitaker with Quick Traffic on Oldies Radio, U92. Cleveland Wheeler Show, it's 844, 16 minutes with 9 o'clock. Here's the tag team sports match. Uh, That's it. You see it now. sports pal on Oldies Radio. U92 Takara Karewa Hontoni Subarashi Onste Stekudasai Domo What do you say? <laughs> that was Orestes Destrada. Well, that was wonderful. Thank you very much, Orestes. You were giving a wonderful report there from Japan. Uh, that's great. Hey, Michael Jordan walked away from his last, as he says, all-star game the way he's used to, with a victory, a lot of fan support, and another MVP trophy. That was his third all-star MVP trophy. But I think the thing that he probably liked the best was that all of the pre-event pressure was about this 19-year-old round ball phenom Kobe Bryant out there with the Lakers. Also a great program this week is Speed Weeks over at Daytona. A lot happening today. The, the Winston Cup practice sessions and the Bush Series qualifying goes on today. WWF's coming. Hawk, tell them about what's happening with the WWF this Saturday. Well, uh, first of all, that background music sounds like some background music to a John Lynch movie. And you know what those are? <laughs> Blue Velvet. I mean, wow. You know what it's, you know, you know what it's called? I can just see the knife going into the person. Anyway, you know what it's, it's called, don't you? Huh? It's called Rumble. Well, that figures. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got a rumble coming up here at the Sun Dome on Valentine's Day, of course. Love your lover at the matches. And Stone Cold Steve Austin will be there. He's a big hit, and everybody knows it. Nine big matches. We're in a country whipping match. A couple of city slickers. Imagine it. And we got a special appearance by Gordon Soley. For all of you real super heavy-duty fans out there, know this guy has been around. He was my first interview. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so what if that guy likes a few nips of a, you know, a <laughs> Black velvet before he gets oh, on the stick. What's the big Allen deal, man? Does it all the time too. I mean, he just ain't comfortable unless he's got a little shot of black velvet. <laughs> <laughs> and we got ticket prices low as twelve dollars there, and up to twenty. So you know, get a seat while you get it. Can get it. They're selling out fast. We're glad you're here with us this morning, and that's the way it is in the old ball game. That's Hal, your sports pal on Oldies Radio U92. The day is almost here. Valentine's Day, of course. I am Lori Hames of the Golden Diamond Source with a subliminal message. Call Energy Security today. Oldies Radio, U92. Our day will come. Our the call letters, WYUU. The digital setting, 92.5 FM. The radio station, Oldies Radio, U92. True, true, but you know, when, when anybody's nice to me, I'm not certain to be nice to them. I mean, there's some people there. 
you know, are, are rude. That you know, they don't say anything by being rude. They, they just stick a piece of paper and a pencil in front of you. They don't just act like you know. They don't like say your anything. OH2 yeah, thing. It's you know, different. But you know, unless they say some rude, I, I don't. I don't. Well, you know. I always, I always. They're probably just, they're probably I guess you just, just can't have my autograph if you're rude. That's all. That's, I mean, it. that's the only way I would. Well, I just want them to be yeah, polite. Whatever. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, and you have to expect it too because you know we. Uh, you know, I, I just just have seen that so many times. I, I know I've met like uh, you know some pretty big name people in entertainment uh, through this business, and, and you know I I wasn't ever scared to tell them I think you know hey, you're a stuck up asshole, you know. Yeah, you know them. And I have because they were. He's Radio United 2 of the Cleveland Wheeler Show. Actually, it's the Road Warrior Hawk show. Today. I'm donating this show to him, okay? <laughs> oh, it's your show while you're that. here, man. You can take over and do anything you want hey, to. Hey, thank you very much. Hey, just don't wear a Barney suit. That's all I can so, say yeah, to you. I don't yeah. think you'll ever catch uh, me in a Barney suit. He's suing everybody. He's wearing Barney, Barney suits. suits with Mohawks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're coming February 14th. Yeah, WrestleMania? They, well, it, actually, the, the WrestleMania will be in uh, Boston this year in March. March 19th. Oh, it's not yes. here. No, but it's going to be some pay-per-view, though, right? Yes, that, that is on pay-per-view. This one is the Valentine's Day Massacre. Uh, yeah, well, you know what the heck? You know, if, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna massacre people, you might as well be on St. Valentine's Day. It's good, good, good for Capone. Work for Capone, right? I mean, you wouldn't want to do that on Thanksgiving. Uh, you wouldn't want to do that on Thanksgiving. Why, yeah. why we carve them up on Thanksgiving? <laughs> <laughs> i got to ask you, that, uh, we were talking in the studio a while ago about some plans that you've got to do some things uh, uh, in uh, another field of entertainment, which is really good. You proved to us when you did those uh, those voices a while ago. Uh, that the, well, we have a lot of fun with that. Yeah. And we're we're going to, and, and, and uh, it was nice enough to you to even let me make a plug for this, and I appreciate it. We're, we're doing a cartoon uh, a series called The Fit Force Fives, The Adventures of the Fit Force Five. Five good people against the world. No, we're against. We're, we actually get shrunk, and it's held off in the future, like 200 years in the future. We're reduced. First, we're frozen in time, of course, and then we're reduced to it in a reduction chamber, injected into people's body, and fight off cholesterols. We fight off nicotrons. And our and our one of our cohorts that's going to be doing it with us is none other than George Foreman, mm. the people's champion, Whoa. Big George. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, and the gentleman who put it together was Gerard Baldwin, who did the Smurfs, and was Papa Smurf's voice, did Bullwinkle. So we. You know, you uh, it's, it takes a long process to get it to get it going, and you got. How do you start something like that? Now? Who made you the first find the right investors? <laughs> <laughs> no, besides the money part, who came up? Who actually got two heads together to think of this uh, idea? And uh, a friend it? of mine named Mark Harris, who uh, who is uh, the, he is the president of Children's Fitness Network where, that I'm associated with, which is based out of Houston, where George is at. Yeah. Makes sense, <laughs> and uh, George is only worth like 500 million. But he's not putting any money in. He's going to make money, and uh, we have we have a lot of uh, people knocking on the door. But right now we're leaning towards PBS because they take less oh, yeah. money from you. Oh yeah, oh yeah, very cool thing. That sounds like a shoe into me, man. That sounds like a great. Yeah, idea. and PBS is a I'm fine, fine, uh, you know, but to be affiliated with them would be. Great. And if they don't do it, who will? Right. Well, uh, I think there, there's other people too, but I think we just that that scenario sounds best to us. Yeah. Well, that's your slogan, and you know, you certainly set a good example for kids too and uh, we were talking about all the things on TV and all the things in life and uh, how people are treated at uh, the public events with regard to autographs and things how do you feel about sports star celebrities asking for money for autographs well unfortunately grown-ups ruined that and made that come about a lot of the baseball players as I as I know them there's a lot of good people uh, that they were signing balls for kids but then some some you know some money-hungry adult would send the kid down yeah. there with four or five balls pretty soon. The, mm -hmm. the players felt it was going on, and it's not right to do that neither. And uh, so, th there, there's an argument there. But yeah. I, I believe that you know, if you're in the entertainment business for any sport, whether it's sports to music, radio, TV, whatever it's at, that you know, you, that's part of the territory. You gotta. It's a lot easier. It takes a lot more. Uh, uh, you know. Uh, energy to be uh, negative than it does to be positive anyway. Yeah, you're right about that. You do a great job of being positive, Road Warrior Hawk. Well, thank you. No wonder you're such a popular guy. Yeah. And thanks for taking the time out. I know you got other uh, other things to do this morning, other radio shows and things like that. But uh, I appreciate it very you, much. You guys have been great to me, and I uh, hope to see you again. Will you come back and visit us? Or, I mean, Anytime. Really? That's not, not, not many just... people ask me to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, let's just say, would you come back when I have? I need some money collected? <laughs> <laughs> we do enjoy it. We do enjoy your presence, sir. And, well, thank uh, you very much. And best of luck in your venture is uh, on the cartoon show. Let us know what's going on. I appreciate with that. that very much. Y'all take care. All right, you too. Road Warrior Hawk, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, he's running out. He's what a rush. Yep, and this traffic's brought to you by Sunglow Chevy dealers. Well, some good news. Finally, on the Tampa side of the bay, all the major wrecks on the interstates have cleared. The wrap-up check brought to you as a service of Inside Edition. We're good to go now. <laughs>
The New Wild Country, 103.5 KWCY. Good morning to you, 1043, you and me, Amy B. Happy birthday to Kevin Sharp. Kevin is 27 years old today. If I knew he wanted a wife for his birthday, I would have bought enough wrapping paper to cover my large girth. Kevin just got engaged, keeping it in the family here, to Neil McCoy's sister-in-law, Tracy Williams. So see, it's all in who you know. Kevin, I'm the third cousin of Ernest Tubbs, oldest sister's love child. Please don't marry her, marry me. This is Kevin's latest right here on Wild Country 103.5. There's only you. In every life, they say. The new Wild Country 103.5 KWCY. We deliver for you. It is time to play Guess Who Sent This Christmas Card. Be the first wild one to guess who sent us this lovely greeting card. And you will win a Tim and Willie t-shirt. Okay, we're opening up the envelope. On the front of the card, there's a picture of a, what is this, a Chevy 4x4 parked in a driveway and inside the house. Oh, my goodness. You can see a silhouette of Santa. And what I'm guessing is some kind of vixen. Paul Bottoms, does that look like some kind of vixen to you? Anything looks like a vixen to Paul Bottoms. Anyway, let's see what it says on the inside. The inscription reads, May your Christmas be merry and your new year have luck in that picture on the front man that ain't my truck who sent this christmas card 260-1035 hey if you were one of the lucky ones who just got back from a successful elk hunt maybe you just got your permit in the mail for javelina and spring turkey you've got to go over right now i'm happy i have a twin twin boys that are two and a half and i'm still trying to get mine out because when i start writing they want to write. So. I, I know. Absolutely. Forever. Well, pick up that pen when you get a chance and drop us a line, okay? Got it. All right. One more time. Tell them who sent that Christmas card. Ready? Bash. All right. Give me a second, all right? You, that it's time um, once again for Bash you want to call me back in like two minutes? There's a hell of a margarita, and there's some great bar food available here at the Roaring Fork. Wild Country Weather. Sunny and cool today with a high of 55. We have a freeze warning in effect tonight again with a low of 35. Colder in the outlying areas. So, yeah, if you're really cold, that means you've been out lying. Continued sunny and cool tomorrow. High Thursday about 55 right now in the valley. 48! 48! At the new Wild Country, 103.5 KWCY. The new Wild Country. The new Wild Country, 103.5 KWCY. Is Kathy still there? Kathy has been online, too, for a couple of minutes, waiting to blurt out that, yes, Red Aiken sent us that Christmas card. The question is, Kathy, where the heck is your Christmas card? We've been going through the mail. Nothing. Uh, they're starting to come in now. They're starting to pour in. Who is this? My name's Kathy. I have uh, twin, twin boys that are two and a half, and I'm still trying to get mine out. Because when I start writing, they want to write. So. I, I know. But I love it when your boys write to us. I got their last note right here. Ear angry. Oh, hag. Wing me a giga pack. She's been going out with him. She's been going out with me. The new Wild Country 103.5 KWCY. It's Mary. The same Mary who wants to hear the same song again. She asked for yesterday, Winona's new song about her little sister. I, I played it for you yesterday, Mary, but you missed it. After all that hard work and sweat I went through putting this into the CD player. Where were you? I was probably on the phone. <laughs> you were yakking again? <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I'm going to play it again right now, okay? Okay. This is called Come Some Rainy Day. The dollar. From Chandler to Buckeye, this is Wild Country 103.5, KWCY, the home of Tim and Willie in the morning. The new Wild Country 103.5.
93.5 KWCY allowed. Amy, if you play that new song by David Lee Murphy, I'll tell everybody in Phoenix that you're the best looking DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a smart clapper makes a great gift. Country 103.5 KWCY. Is it just me? Do you hear that? Oh man, it is. It's Trace Atkins tonight at Tooley's Country. He is a tall man. He is taller than Daniel Boone. He is taller than Debbie Boone standing on 10 phone books. <laughs> Big welcome to you, Trace, from all of us at the new Wild Country 103.5 KWCY. We will see you out there. I've been thinking about our love situation. Hey, this is Brian White, and I love Wild Country. I like Wild Country because it's the coolest day since Tim and Willie. They are so cool. Hey, thanks for getting wild with a new Wild Country 103.5 WCY. The new Wild Country, 103.5 KWCY. Let's take a vote on this. Who's halfway through the week and all the way through the money? I thought so! I got a hair extension. Can I get my credit extended, too? What do you think, Mom? Well, you an idiot! cold out there today. <laughs> we were just gonna make rum balls. The new Wild Country 103.5. KWCY 23 minutes after 11 o'clock. You and me, Amy B, here at the new home of Tim and Willie. They got the big breakfast Christmas show. Coming up Friday morning at the Improv in Tempe. If you've got a Tim and Willie fan in your household, you know what they would really love for Christmas is a singing goat. Uh, <laughs> Us are fresh out of singing goats. Get them a ticket to this broadcast, this live show for only five bucks in advance, seven bucks day of show, Friday morning, or 40 pounds of Purina goat chow. Whatever you can do, all the money goes to charity. Call us up if you need details. We got them for you. I can tell you everything. 260 103. Man, that's Tim Willie on Halloween night. Sure look like a couple of ugly women. Damn ugly women. <laughs> Tim and Willie, I have a poster of them that I got at the rodeo. Tim and Willie, they're the funniest guys on the radio. What else can I say? Ben and Randy try to imitate Tim and Willie, but the truth is, Tim and Willie are the best comedians there are on radio. Get me? The Wild Country 103.5! Tim and Willie! Tim and Willie! We love them! You know why I listen to him? I listen to him every morning, honestly. I was listening to that uh, Young Buck Country, and then when I heard they were back, I switched it right to them. Tooley's Country, home of the Nashville Stars, features another blockbuster concert tonight. Country 103.5 KWCY, you and me, Amy B. The other night, Trisha Yearwood presented Garth with his billboard 
Artist Achievement Award, followed by a performance of a homeboy losing his pants. So in the name of artistic expression, today on your lunch hour, please pull up someone's pants. Nice. You'll feel better. From his amazing album, Sevens, here's Garth, and you move me. This is how it seems to me. country hadn't been the same without them. we got to have them here. It's that simple. They're back, and I like to listen to them on the radio. I changed my music style and everything, too. But now I'm back to country. You can count on me getting down and getting wild. It's fantastic. This is my second shot at getting their signatures. That is incredible. The boys are back in town. The new wild country. to lunch on a Wednesday. Coming up today in the noon hour, more Christmas movie trivia. And this round of questioning will involve Ralphie and his Red Ryder BB gun in the movie A Christmas Story. We'll shoot our eye out! Well, that's okay, because on this show, we always have fun until somebody loses an eye. Betty Loveless, Wild Country. Live in the 6.7 long neck bottle, Garth Brooks and uh, Steve Warner. It's uh, coming up on 7.40, 20 to 8 o'clock. Rhubarb Jones and Connors radio broadcast here where the rain and thunderstorms just kind of set in here at our studios in Cobb County. Mainly this morning, gusty winds, caution advised on area lakes. Today's high should be 55. I hate even. You know what, that unconditional love, ma'am, is a wonderful thing, isn't it? It is. It's great. Well, ma'am, I appreciate your call. Where are oh. you? Where, 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 where you? Uh, Kennesaw. I'm uh, living Kennesaw, but I'm on Johnson Ferry Road right now, headed to work. All right, hon. You have a good day. Be careful. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, 404-741-Y106. That is our number. We're, Connor's brought up this, uh, this subject this morning. What would you like for Valentine's Day? Particularly asking the ladies something that's not, not like flowers or candy Something or that doesn't cost any money. Because yeah. I think as guys, we agonize over, oh, what's the perfect? And I know I've done it. Oh, should they, you know, did, would she want this? Does she want that? And the, the answer seems to be unanimous. All your time. And, and the thing is, uh, one thing that I noticed, that we get nuts around Valentine's, kind of like we do around Christmas. The day before Valentine's Day last year, the Hallmark store, in my neighborhood mm -hmm. was just jam packed with folks trying to buy a Valentine's and, and, and little gifts at the last minute. So, but we just want to know the intangibles there. What, what would you really like, ladies and guys? It's open to you too. 404 741 Y106. 745, here's Jenny with pinpoint traffic. 75 southbound, slowing down around 575, down toward the perimeter. Gusty winds today, decreasing clouds tonight, low 38, and partly cloudy on Thursday, high 55. At 748, it's cloudy, 46 degrees at today's new hit country, Y106.7. Got a special guest tomorrow morning, early, Yoko Maddox, who was born in Japan and uh, lives here in Atlanta. I had a wonderful conversation uh, with her yesterday. And uh, she's going to be uh, taking time out of her day to come up to help uh, 
Connors and me with our, with our Japanese because we're going to be leaving Monday for uh, Nagano. And I don't know if y'all been watching any of the uh, the winter games, but I was watching that speed skating last night. What is it about these speed skating guys? They all got thighs like like Herschel Walker or William Andrews. Or they something. all have uh, frog legs is what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, this one looks and, like. And how fast are these guys going now? 50, 60, 70 miles oh, an hour? They, huh? they hauling it. That guy from the Netherlands. You see style? the big guy wipe out last night? Well, the guy got chicken. What do you call it? Chicken bone? Or he what? got chicken wing. He, he got dislocated his shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, that hurts. And it's the first time in sporting history I've ever heard a guy get carried out screaming. Because I carried him downstairs. It was kind of painful yeah, to watch. Hollering. Yeah, well, it was it, not fun. The no. reason is because I laid him down on the floor downstairs and popped it back popped in. Popped it back in. Yeah, and it, ow. Well, ooh. but uh, we're going to be covering the games beginning one week from today. We'll be live from Nagano, Japan, right here on Y106.7. I can we're show you what that it. feels like. I mean, it, come well, here. Let me just grab your shoulder. No, 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 just pop it like this. No. See? You ought to think about a career in chiropractic. Yeah, that, that feels better, man. Yeah, 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 yeah real. Maybe all I got is this beat up leather bag. All right. The, I mean, that guy was hurt. He was he was hollering. He fact. was hollering, man. And you could see it. It, it, it. He slid down like this way and hit the wall, and he spun around as he hit the wall, and the, it just went. Boom! His elbow was behind his head. So that's probably and not his back. He is a skinny little dude. Oh, and that other dude, 6'2", 220. 220. Yeah. Preston. He checked him. Well, the checking's hey, illegal. In you can't game. do that. You can do it in hockey. Hey, you're on Wyman at 6.7. Good morning. Good morning, Ray Paul. How are you? We're fine. Good. I was listening to you all day coming into water. You don't want to tell us what race team it'd be, would you? Uh, well, I work for Mark Gibson Racing. At a winder. At a winder? Yeah. Okay, so he's down in Daytona right now, I guess. Yeah. All righty, ma'am. You know, we're going to have that race for you Sunday, okay? I know. When, when you do see him, when he comes home, you, uh -huh. could, you could relive Valentine's Day. Okay. Just just be what, just be where, just standing at the entrance to your bedroom wearing nothing but a pair of racing gloves. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that would No, say. no, a helmet. Get a racing <laughs> helmet. Just stand there. And, well, the helmet might scare him. Yeah. Yeah, just the helmet, all right? Ma'am, you have a good day. Good luck. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs> that, that, play it. No? I'll wait. Why would six point seven? George Strait Canyon you loving me. It's seven fifty-four. It is six feeling good. Hundred dollar gift certificate from Gainesville Jewelry. And friends, it was thirteen years ago today, the eleventh of February, nineteen eighty-five. I first started working with this Yahoo across the table from me, so it's our anniversary. Thirteen years, buddy Rose. Wabato 6.7, there's why Nona, tell me why. Rhubarb Jones and Connor, 757, three minutes away from eight. Clouds and 46 degrees and wet stuff on the way. Vanna and Van's out and about today, y'all. Uh, 12 to 1, she's going to be at Buffalo's in Lawrenceville at 911 Highway 120, the Publix Shopping Center. She's got uh, free dinners from Buffalo's featuring their tequila wings and Y106.7 goodies as well. Why about a 6.7? Good morning. Good morning. Hi. I have to agree with the time thing on Valentine's Day. Because my husband's been gone for, been married, I've been married seven years, and my husband's never been home for one Valentine's Day. Wow. Yeah. He works for a race team, so the Daytona 500 always falls on Valentine's weekend. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> you don't want to tell us what race team it'd be, would you? Uh, well, he works for Mark Gibson Racing at a winder. At a winder? Yeah. Okay, so he's down in Daytona right now, I guess. Yeah. All righty, man. Well, we're going to have a race for you Sunday, okay? I know. When you do see him, when he comes home, you, uh -huh. could, you could relive Valentine's Day. Okay. Just just be where, just be where, standing at the entrance to your bedroom wearing nothing but a pair of racing gloves. <laughs> no, no, a helmet. Get a racing helmet. Just stand there. Well, the helmet might scare him. Yeah. Yeah, just the helmet, right? Man, you have a good day. Good luck. Bye. <laughs> Sound like they're going to be going 200 mile an hour on the track and off the track as well. I don't know. We got 7:58, two to eight o'clock. Rebound, Jones and Connors. A little uh, rain falling in Atlanta right now. Should be out of here later in the day. Clouds have decreased tonight. Low tonight, 38. Tomorrow, good day. Partly cloudy. High tomorrow should be 55, 46. Clouds and rain right now in the city with Shania Twain. And don't be stupid. I remember having to work on Valentine's Day for the first six years, me and Charlie, man, she didn't like it.
couple of minutes after 8 o'clock in the morning, Rubal Jones and Connor's in here this morning. Four famous people on the uh, birthday list. Burt Reynolds. Hey, he got uh, nominated for Academy Award yesterday. He's 62. Leslie Nielsen, one of my...